Oh, this is sexy. What? Okay, all right, man. What's up with this cute face stuff? Hey, everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is your boy, Brittany. Today, we're going to do the first episode of The Tower of God. It's actually an anime made off the adaption of a Korean manhwa or manga. I believe, by the creating artist SIU. So this is gonna be the first anime I've watched based off of a manhwa from a Korean artist that's been adapted into anime. I'm looking forward to this. The art style is very unique. I like how it looks so far, just from the little images I've seen floating around. And luckily I didn't spoil myself. I don't know too much about it, but I'm looking forward to watching to find out. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump in and go from there. So yeah, pew pew. Looks like we're in water, swimming. Eyes of a beautiful lady. Our man, ooh, a fish. Honor and pride, ooh, looks like a worker. <laughs> okay, these are probably the character introductions. And everything will be yours. The girl who climbed this tower. Wow. We're running! Okay, they're running again. Everybody running! It's like the Korean drama moment. Oh! So cute! So shy! So innocent. Oh, he must be the boy that's following her. Yo, this is beautiful, man. Wow. Oh, she's gone. This is... Just like that, she's gone. <sighs> oh, I guess he got invited too. Uh, you coming with this? Uh, we got trials, I believe. This is like some Kingdom Hearts one starting point. Type of stuff. He reminds me of a creature from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Master Ben. Neon, I'm telling you. We we'll enter the cage with the ball. Wow. He's like, uh uh. Oh, what? Tifa? Wait, is this the first test or not? Loving the little history. And the cute face helps, man. Tell me. No matter what, by any means necessary, music's building. He's gonna do it. She's gonna fall in love with this guy. Look at him, he's just a boss walking in there. This thing. I wanna really do this in real life. They gotta break the ball or die. It's coming for him. What are you gonna do? Yay! That was easy. And put the black mark, whatever. Oh, 
Whoa. It's just a beast. He's killing it or hitting it or doing something. Overcoming the fear of death. This dude got balls, man. There's something greater than the fear of death. Oh, you're kidding me. He's smelling too. What's up with that? Defeated the monster, but he can't break the ball. What is going on? This is a flashback. Okay, all right, I understand why he wants to fight for her so much. If that's him, I think so. It's with longer hair. I would do the same thing. Monster's just looking at him. He's not scared of death already. That wasn't even his sword or belonged to him, but now he's like in, he's like wielding it. Woo. Oh, this is sexy. What? The top. Okay, all right, man. What's up with this cute face stuff? He broke it. Wow. He destroyed it? What is going on? Who is this dude? He just destroyed it. Wow. The regulars. He was a non regular. Now he's with the regulars. You get to see the sky, bro. Okay. Battle Royale. Yeah, I knew it. Let's go. War zone, baby. Uh, Yo, it's about to get real. And he looks like a normal guy. I would go after you first. There you go. <sighs> go after the easy ones first, dude. Let's go. Yeah, come on, dude. You just standing there in the middle of the open field. <laughs> oh my god, this is kind of. This is kind of. It's kind of funny. We should probably move too. Oh, this is getting real. Oh, damn it, bro. Everyone knows you don't run out in the open field. He's gonna get stepped on. Oh. Wait a minute, what the hell is going on? I don't know, bro. You shouldn't challenge people. Oh, man. They know who you are, but I don't think you know who they are. Run! Both of y'all! Y'all need to team up! Oh, my God, dude. This is horrible. This is horrible. This guy, this is horrible. I'm scared, dude. I don't even know what to say. Well, that was the end of the first episode of the Power of God anime. It was pretty lit, man. That shit was hot, dude. Do you see the animation of it? That dude's freaking crazy. He's running after a girl. So we got a character named Bam. 
who somehow was trapped underneath underground, couldn't get out. He piled up some rocks to get out underground, and he was poking. I guess at the ceiling and he couldn't get out and Rachel broke down comforted him and that's pretty much where the story begins before this actual story begins so now Bam is chasing after Rachel Rachel wants to leave wherever place they were before to see the stars and to see some light because where they used to live was full of darkness and the only way to do that is to enter the Tower of God some kind of tournament style base thing where if you go to the top you get granted any wish you want, but it's a perilous journey as every level you go gets harder and harder. And as we learned at the end of this episode, you're not the only one going up the tower. There's other people there too that you have to beat. Pretty sure the higher you go, the you know less and less people will be there as you rise to the top. So Bam chasing after Rachel because Rachel jumped in the portal, went in the Tower of God, and I guess she's up a few levels. Long story short, he encountered a, Z a Zahad, I believe, who has this secret sword, this sword, this black sword that if wielded. Sometimes it will stay a sword or it will stay into a lump of coal. Not only did he take that sword from a group of people that he just met, he used the sword to finish the first trial. And the first trial was literally just not to fear death. To look death in the eye and not be scared of it. He did that, broke a blue black ball, unreleased some kind of superpower out of the black sword. It was like a female goddess. I'm not exactly sure what it was. I gotta learn, I gotta look this up. First episode was really nice. I really like the art style. It looks like something out of one of the old Lupin shows. Lupin the third, like one of those old movies. So I really like that art style. And just for that, like this is definitely on my to-do list to watch because of that art style alone. Yo, love is crazy, dude. I think the theme of the show is love have you do crazy things, man. You would do crazy things for love. I'm not sure if he's in love with the girl or he just like that's someone he can't live without because she showed him so much light and sometimes it's like that you don't have to fall in love with the person but you know he's chasing after her just to protect her or just to be there not maybe not even to protect her just maybe for a selfish reason because he needs her to protect him because he felt protected either way i don't really know yet but he loves her Maybe not romantically, but definitely like on a companionship level, that's for sure. I like how the first few instances, like, uh, I watched a lot of Korean dramas, and like the first thing I noticed was they trip and they fall on top of each other. And I was like, oh wow, this seen this in like a hundred thousand dramas already, so I don't know where this is going, but you know, they start blushing and stuff. No, no kissing or nothing like that, no confessions happened. No confessions of love happened, but other confessions happened. And the second thing I, I thought was kind of crazy is like, how come everyone's in love with Bam's face? I mean, he, he's a very, he's an attractive anime character, but I like how everyone's in love with his face so far. I mean, I guess it's true. When you have a face like mine, you get you know, the benefits too as well, so. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that was the end of the first episode. I really liked it. Can't wait to watch more. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I mean, stick it here, man. You get to see more of this stuff, dude. So yeah. Until next time, beep, beep.